Hey everybody, in this video, we're going to continue talking about implicit differentiation. More specifically, we're going to look at some trickier example problems. Problem one, suppose we need to find dy dx for this given equation, y equals sine of 3x plus 4y. Let's take the derivative of each term from left to right. The derivative of y is dy dx. The derivative of sine 3x plus 4y is cosine 3x plus 4y times the derivative of the inside part, which is 3 plus 4 dy dx. Now what we need to do is solve for dy dx. But as you can see, there are two dy dx terms in our equation, so we need to group them together first. In order to do this, we need to break apart the quantity of 3 plus 4 dy dx. So let's distribute cosine 3x plus 4y times 3 plus cosine 3x plus 4y times 4 dy dx. And now our equation becomes this. Next, we can get the dy dx terms on the same side of the equation. So we're going to subtract 4 dy dx cosine 3x plus 4y. Now we can factor out a dy dx on the left hand side, and then we can divide by the quantity of 1 minus 4 cosine 3x plus 4y. And that's it, we've solved for dy dx. Let's try another one. Find dy dx for the equation e to the sine y plus x squared equals 2y. So let's take the derivative with respect to x of each term. e to the sine y becomes e to the sine y times cosine y times dy dx by the chain rule. x squared becomes 2x and 2y becomes 2 dy dx. Then we need to group the dy dx terms together and solve. So we'll move the 2 dy dx from the right side of the equation over to the left. And we'll also move the 2x to the right hand side of the equation. Then we can factor out dy dx and that gives us dy dx times the quantity of e to the sine y times cosine y minus two equals negative 2x. Then we just need to divide and solve for dy dx and we get dy dx equals negative 2x over cosine y e to the sine y minus two. Note that I've moved the cosine y term in front of the e to the sine y. This is just a notation convention where we put the exponential term last. Okay, here's another problem to consider. Find all points on the curve x squared plus xy plus y squared equals three where the tangent lines are vertical. So the first thing we need to do here is find dy dx. So let's go term by term. The derivative of x squared is 2x. The derivative of xy is x dy dx plus y times one by the product rule. The derivative of y squared is 2y dy dx. And the derivative of three is zero. Now we can group the terms with dy dx. Note that I've moved the 2x and y terms to the right side of the equation and I've kept the terms that contain dy dx on the left side of the equation. Then we can factor out dy dx and divide and we get dy dx equals negative 2x minus y divided by x plus 2y. Now remember the problem states find all points on the curve where the tangent lines are vertical. Vertical tangents have undefined slopes. So what we're gonna do is determine where dy dx is undefined and that will occur where the denominator equals zero. So let's set x plus two y equal to zero and solve. But what do we solve for? We could solve for x or we could solve for y. We have a choice. In this case, I'll decide to solve for y. When we solve, we get y equals negative x over two. And what are we gonna do with that? Well, let's plug this back into the original equation and then solve for x. When we do that, we get x squared plus x times negative x over two plus negative x over two squared equals three. When we do the algebra and solve for x, we get x equals plus or minus two. Now we can plug plus or minus two back into our y equation, which was y equals negative x over two. And we get negative one and one. That means the points on this curve where the tangent lines are vertical are negative two one and two negative one. 
Here we have a graph of this relation, x squared plus xy plus y squared equals three, and we can see that at the points negative two, one, and two, negative one, the slopes of the tangent lines are undefined. Let's do one more example problem. Find the equation of the line tangent to the curve x squared cosine of x squared y minus sine y equals zero at the point zero pi. In order to find the equation of the tangent line, we need the slope. So we need to take the derivative. Let's go term by term. To find the derivative of x squared times cosine of x squared y, we need to use the product rule. That gives us 2x times cosine of x squared y plus x squared times the quantity of negative sine of x squared y times the quantity of 2xy plus x squared dy dx because of the chain rule. Then the derivative of negative sine y is negative cosine y times dy dx, and all of that equals zero. Now, if you look at this equation, it's pretty messy. So solving for dy dx might not be very fun. So instead of solving directly for dy dx, let's just plug in the point and then solve for dy dx. When we plug in zero for x and pi for y, many of the terms disappear and we're left with negative cosine pi dy dx equals zero. And negative cosine pi is just one. So that leaves us with dy dx equals zero. Now we have the point, we have the slope, so we can write the point slope form of the tangent line. Y minus pi equals zero times X minus zero. And that leaves us with Y equals pi. Well, that's it for today. So keep on practicing and you'll keep getting better at these problems that involve implicit differentiation. And that's how you rock calculus.